you know, I've always been on tour with with, with some real monsters, man. I toured yeah. with the Kings. Now, you know, I done heard all of the YouTubes and I done heard all the interviews and all like that. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. So this is a little beef thing that everybody want to wanna start because you want to make a name for yourself. That's cool. Do you. You ain't going to do it right here, though. You, you, you ain't gonna build no reputation on Steve Harvey. Okay, so this drama between Cat Williams and Steve Harvey is starting to really get interesting because Steve Harvey is now firing back at Cat and threatening to release his dark secrets. In case y'all haven't been keeping your ears to the streets, Cat recently came out to expose Steve for allegedly pimping out Lori to men in the industry. And Steve is not having it because he is slamming Cat now. He even went as far as to threaten to hire a private investigator to do some deep digging into Cat cat to find some dirt on him. Y'all, it's like we're about to see a full-blown war between these two, so let's break down the drama. We little love dogs, you! Little dogs bark the most. <laughs> okay now. <laughs> but now, please understand. It looks like Cat is making more and more enemies in the industry with his revelations, and Steve Harvey just joined his list of ops. Y'all know how Cat is always saying that many people in the industry don't like him because they know that their shady secrets are not safe with him. Yeah, well, turns out that Steve doesn't like to be exposed either because he is allegedly sending some scary threats to Cat. Now, for those of you who are wondering why Steve and Cat are on the outs, let me fill you in. It all started about two weeks ago when Cat decided to start spilling all the tea on a lot of celebs in Hollywood, and he eventually turned to Steve, exposing him for allegedly pimping out his daughter Lori Harvey to Diddy. Now, when Cat made these revelations, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that shocking to a lot of people because who has been very clear for the past couple of years that he treats Lori way better than his other kids, even his biological kids. I mean, she was the only one that he used to take on father-daughter dates. Me on one of our annual father-daughter dates in my favorite Japanese restaurant, and you just started talking to me about guys, and you just told me that you you know, always supported me and you'd always be there for me no matter what, and you loved me. And when it came to his own twin girls, it was crickets from him. Not only did he not go on father-daughter dates with them, but he couldn't even be bothered to attend their graduation. An insider wrote, I went to high school with the twins. They were a few years ahead of me, but people always talked and all eyes were on them because of who their father was. He wasn't present at their graduation. And it wasn't only the twins that got ignored because he was basically a deadbeat to his son, Broderick, for the first 16 years of his life. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16. Right? And don't even get me started on his second son, Winston, and how he literally got investigated by the police and the CPS for putting hands on the boy to the point where he couldn't even sit. According to TMZ, according to the kids, Steve hit him with a belt and then a paddleboard, the kind used for hazing in fraternities. According to the police report, cops took photos of the boy's injuries, showing on his buttocks and right thigh, as well as cuts on his leg. The police report says the boy told the cops the were so brutal, he had trouble urinating for days. The case died down after that, and according to Cat, this was because Steve allegedly paid off the authorities to kill the case. And that's why the case didn't blow up and went away quietly. So why is Lori different and why does she get this special treatment? Well, Cat claimed that it was because she was pretty and Steve saw her as a commodity that he could allegedly pimp out. Steve was not here for it at all and he sent some heavy words to Cat. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda get why Steve would be mad because the tea cat had to spill was crazy. Remember when Steve's other offspring were jealous because Lori's love life was dominating the news and she had managed to build her career on her relationships? Well, Cat revealed that Steve was the puppet master behind Lori's romantic exploits. He didn't just meddle, he went full force allegedly pimping her out to different dudes. Yeah, you heard it right, Steve played matchmaker in the most unconventional way, allegedly. And wait for it because one of the recipients of Steve alleged matchmaking expertise was none other than Diddy. Flashback to 2019 when Lori and Diddy's relationship had us shocked because it came out of nowhere and left people wondering what exactly was going on. There was a 28-year-old age gap between Diddy and Lori, so it wasn't like they had a lot in common. I mean, what on earth did they even talk about? But as if the 28-year age gap difference wasn't raising eyebrows enough, it got creepier when you realized that Diddy had a five-year-old son when Lori was born. 
wrap your heads around that, that means that Diddy's son was older than his dad's new flame. But the weirdness didn't stop there because Kat spilled the tea that Diddy had known Lori since her teenage years. And Kat claimed that Diddy and Steve ran in the same social circles. And while they weren't exactly besties, they knew each other well enough. So Diddy knew Lori when she was a minor and yet he got into a romantic relationship with her years later. According to Kat, Lori wasn't exactly a willing participant. And Steve essentially pushed her into Diddy's arms because he saw it as an avenue to push the Harvey name out there even more. But we didn't know this at the time, so we were expecting Steve to step in and put an end to the weird relationship, but he didn't. Instead, he and Marjorie gave it their stamp of approval when they tagged along at a vacation with Diddy and Lori. Approving of your 22-year-old daughter dating a 50-year-old man is one thing, but actually going on a vacation with them is just something else. Also, according to Cad, he wasn't surprised by the relationship because he knew that Steve had been trying to slide Lori into Diddy's life for a while. He finally saw his chance after Kim Porter passed. See, Lori and Kim used to have a great relationship when she was alive. And after Kim passed, Lori even paid her public tributes on Instagram. She wrote, having a hard time processing this one. You were such a beautiful person inside and out. I'm so glad I told you how much I loved and missed you the last time I saw you. Your energy was truly something special. An angel on earth and now in heaven. R.I.P. Mama Kim. With her claiming to love Kim so much, it was wild that she started to date Diddy less than four or five months after Kim passed away. I mean, with friends like that, who needs enemies, right? Well, wrong. See, according to Kat, Lori isn't the villain that people made her out to be because Steve was actually the one pulling the strings behind the scenes. Kat claimed that he even forced her to delete the tribute that she made to Kim Porter because it made her look bad and he couldn't have that. According to Kat, there's another reason that she should have seen the red flags in this relationship. It's not just about love, but also nail polish. Yeah, you heard that right. In the midst of all this craziness, Lori's nail polish steals the spotlight, and it's not for a chic fashion statement. Every time Lori stepped out with Diddy, eagle-eyed fans had noticed that her nails were painted in white nail polish. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, turns out Cassie spilled tea in her lawsuit claiming that Diddy had a thing for white nail polish. It wasn't a quirky fashion preference, no siree. According to Cassie, Diddy made her wear white nails because he loved the stark contrast against the dark skin of the male escorts he pushed her to be intimate with. But it wasn't just Cassie under the white nail spell. A rumor started swirling that he did the same thing with young Miami because she also had on white nails every time she was with Diddy. Well, speculations ran wild, suggesting that she might have been involved in Diddy's peculiar rendezvous. Back to Lori and her white nails, though, hanging out with Diddy. It got weirder when you realize that Lori stopped wearing white nail polish after the breakup, causing fans to speculate that she might have seen and endured some seriously shady stuff when she was with Diddy. But according to Kat, Steve wasn't bothered about what Lori went through with Diddy. No, as long as she was in the limelight and tied to Diddy, he was all in. But hold up, because Kat also claimed that Steve also tried to pimp her out to Jay-Z. Allegedly. People actually caught on to this and they dragged Lori for trying to flirt with Jay-Z. But allegedly, Steve was the one pulling the strings behind the scenes. Okay, so for those of you who don't remember, this happened way back in 2019 when Jay-Z invited Lori Harvey to a Rock Nation brunch. The event was packed with celebs, which isn't surprising because if Jay-Z invites you to an event, you better drop whatever you have going on and get dressed. So Lori got an invite to the event and she showed up looking like a million bucks. But it wasn't just her outfit that got people talking because what people were really interested in was a clip that she posted on her Instagram stories. <laughs> In the video, we can clearly see her talking to Jay-Z, but according to a lot of people, Jay-Z wasn't talking to her while she was flirting with him. She had her head tilted to the side and she was laughing at whatever he was saying, and many people seemed convinced that this was typical flirting techniques. So when she posted that video of her and Beyonce's husband, the Beehive went insane. One thing about the Beehive is that they're always going to defend their queen bee no matter what, and that's exactly what happened here. They flooded Lori's Instagram comments with B emoji, which is the symbol of the beehive since Beyonce is considered the queen bee. But according to Kat, the backlash that she got over this is why Steve decided to abort that mission on Jay-Z. Well, as you can expect, Steve is not here for Kat speaking on him like that and he sent some heavy words to him, stopping him for being disloyal and speaking on his name. He also called Kat out for being a hypocrite, claiming that Kat has his fair share of shady secrets that he wouldn't want to come to light either. So while he's exposing everybody else and setting them up for drags, he 
has vowed to dig out Kat's deepest secrets just to give him a taste of his own medicine. However, Steve's threats did nothing to reassure fans, and they believe in common saying, I been said Steve was pimping that child out. Ain't no way she ran through that many men and no one is good enough. She was smart and got away from Puffy quick, fast, and in a hurry. Either Steve doesn't have a say or he's all about material things and status. He probably thought that a job or marriage would come out of that, since she's not A-list P. No sane parent would let their child who's barely an adult date a dangerous 50-year-old man like him, especially after hearing the rumors about Kim's death. And Diddy is crazy. He dated someone who dated his son, and Steve approving of that was creepy as fudge. Well, things are definitely starting to get a little interesting, but what do y'all think about Kat? Does he really have some dirty secrets of his own? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.